So this uh, little demonstration here is a very simple demonstration of our module for data acquisition using, uh, in this case, a national instrument uh, hardware. And uh, what I have in front of me here is uh, this uh, module that we are going to use. This is one of the very nice portable modules from uh, National Instruments that are now located in this uh, the USB carrier here. What I want to do now is I will connect this one here to uh, both uh, the computer through the USB port here. And then of course also uh, to some sensors here on the other side. And uh, I have here two cables with uh, two uh, sensors. We have two BNK sensors here uh, that are of the uh, ICP type with the uh, TETS uh, uh, embedded. So um, I will try to connect these uh, to uh, the two first channels here. And um, then we can just put them here somewhere just uh, to simulate that we now are going to make a measurement on something. And then of course uh, connect uh, the whole thing to uh, the computer by inserting this uh, USB uh, cable here. So uh, now it has detected that uh, the instrument is connected and um, we are now ready to uh, use it inside Artemis. So what I've done here in Artemis is I have um, drawn, made a new project and then drawn these two uh, nodes here, um, simulating the two uh, positions I have for um, the two sensors. Now I'm going to uh, start by going to the Manage Measurement task and then create a new setup. I will then insert two channels and then uh, I will um, connect this uh, setup here and I will uh, also connect these two sensors here or, or channels to the two positions I have on this uh, geometry. And then uh, I, I'm ready now to uh, go to the acquisition part and start doing the actual uh, data acquisition for these two particular channels here. And I select it here. I have different options, but I select here uh, under setup, I select national instruments here. And now it will then detect uh, the instrument that has been connected. And uh, you will see here now that we have uh, these four channels available that we see here in the, the module. And we can see that already now it has detected that two first are actual TET sensors uh, being connected of the Brühl and Gare type also. And what we have to do now is we have to pair these uh, two channels with the physical channels that we have in the Artemis project. So that means I need to select that the channel number one goes to node number one in the set direction and channel number two of the hardware goes to the physical channel in node number two that we have up here. In this way here now, we have linked the hardware and the software together. Next thing we have to do is we have to configure. So we have to configure the sampling rate and uh, we can set it in this case here to various options. The lowest is 2000 Hertz that we are going to use here. Then uh, we can do different things. Uh, we can do a manual start and stop of recording. We have something called interval also, where we are able to measure for a certain amount of seconds. And then we can also enable triggering or not. What we'll do, try to do now in the first run here is simply to uh, make a manual measurement and see what's going on. Then uh, down here you see that we have different options. There will be this uh, dialog uh, presented every time if we want to, uh, if, if we're choosing that. The other thing is that we can actually uh, create a new data set. That means a new measurement under this test setup here every time we make a uh, recording. Or we can overwrite the, the existing or the, the selected uh, data set already uh, present in uh, this uh, test setup here. 
In order to uh, make sure that we get all uh, the measurements every time, and we have them and we can select between them, then we will create a new uh, data set every time. And now we will simply press OK here, and then uh, we will actually more or less be ready. What we have to do now is we have to put the instrument into idle mode so that we will start getting some data uh, that we can use uh, for recording. And we put the idle mode on by selecting this button here. And uh, now you can see that uh, we have this acquisition control here where we have activated now this button here that starts the recording. And here we can then see the number of seconds that are being recorded. So if I start, uh, I can just get some data in here so we can see actually data running like this. So now we can see that we have data coming in and if I uh, start exciting this one here, I will also be able to see these impacts here. Over here, I can actually see the singular value decomposition of this. Um, and now I can start the recording simply by clicking this button here. And then it starts recording, as you can see, uh, whatever amount of seconds that we would like to have. Um, and then uh, it doesn't stop before we hit this uh, red button here, which we can do now. This is the first way of doing it. This is the manual recording. Uh, the other one we can try to do is uh, by going to the configuration again. We can try to switch to an interval like this. And now we have then to specify how many seconds we would like to record. And I choose uh, 20 seconds here. And then I can go to idle again. And if I start the recording now, then it will measure for 20 seconds and then uh, automatically complete uh, afterwards and shut down the, the recording. And um, while this is happening, then uh, we can see what's going on, of course, on the, in the two channels here. But we can also see over here the singular values, how they look. Now we are ready. We can always go here to manage measurement after we have done a recording and check out the latest measurement that has been done, which in this case looks like this. And you can see all the data sets lying here that we have acquired. So we have here this, the latest one here, the one that has been selected here. This was the, the one using the 20 second recording time. And we can now go directly to the recording or to the, the analysis and do all the kind of normal uh, Artemis analysis that uh, we would like to do on this data here.